everyone and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Market Review of the QQQs. Beautiful, nice, bullish market today. And I called the market long uh, in the first five minutes of the day, actually. It was a great call. Market is definitely higher. And the market also went to the target today, which I said was 99.50. And the market went to 99.57. So can't wait to see who in the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room held the market long into the target today. I'll be quizzing everyone tomorrow. This is a great reason why sometimes you need to hold some of your trade of the whole trade of the target. This never did anything wrong the whole day, and it went to the target. I made an amazing call on this today. Why? Let's go over it. Because the market did trade down here on Friday. The market did trade lower and triggered on a daily sell setup then on Monday. That did happen. This is a sizable red bar, and anytime you see red in a market that's in an uptrend, sometimes it brings in panic for people, and then the market gapped down today. But I knew this would hold. This was a this was a great call I made today. This was so tough to see that the market would hold in that area today. I'm sure a lot of people did not have a good tra trading day today that day of trade. They probably thought the market was a short, was going to come in, come into here to this next level of support. And I can see why people would think that, but I read that the market would hold. Hold in there, and it did, and it held beautifully. And I saw it at 9.32. One of the advantages of being in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading Room is that I am great at reading things right into the open between 9.30 and 10. And not only that, in minutes, in seconds, I can read something, whether it's going to work or fail, and call a trade or take a trade. And that is a skill. That is something that I, I, am, I am amazing at doing. I, I just, to see this today, to see that the market was long today and 9.32, to see that and make that call, to see that that was going to hold, to see it would go to that number today was an amazing call. It was a great call. That was fantastic. And it's because I know how to reprice very well in gaps. And not only that, I have an extreme edge in what I do because I can read stuff in real life time. And if you're a day trader, you got to learn how to read stuff in real life time. You want to make money in the market as a day trader. I don't care what kind of trading you're doing as a day trader, or what your strategy is, or what you are doing. You have to learn how to read stuff in real life time to know whether to get in, whether to get out, whether to not take it at all, or whether to do nothing, or whether to hit it, okay, aggressively even. If you bought the market long of my call today when I saw this into the gate, out of the open here, you made a dollar thirty-ish or thereabouts if you held it to the target. Otherwise, you didn't see the market would do this until very, very late. And probably a lot of people shorted this market in here in the 15 minute. Why? Because there was weakness showing in the market in here in the last couple of days. This does have a bearish look to it to come down here for some more of the sell off. That's why this was such a great call today that I saw the market would hold. That was a great call. I just got to keep staying on track here, seeing things the way that I do on my own. One of the things that I just do extremely well is to see things in live time. There's no substitute for that. That's the biggest edge I have besides my 26-point rating system. Because even if I rate a gap and I like the gap and I want to do the gap, I can see right away if it's going to fail and it's not even do it. Or if I can see right away if it's going to work huge and then just hit it hard. And today I saw the market right, right there. And uh, this is a great call. So the market is higher. And for the people that have shorted this market thinking it's making a double, triple top, they're going to get stopped out. This market is not a short. Market could get over the high in the next couple of days before the end of the week. It's only Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Markets should trade higher tomorrow unless um, some unforeseen thing happens. I won't know until I see the gap. In the morning when I get up, in the morning I read the gap. And I see how the market trades in into the open. And I'll read the market gap in the morning in the pre-market. But for all intents and purposes, this market looks higher this week. Could get over the high this week. I don't see any reason that that wouldn't happen, okay, at this moment. But even if it doesn't happen this week, it's still going to happen. And the market's still going to continue to make a new high. And again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. In the next four to six months, the market is going to go bullishly in a bullish direction, crazy into some unknown number that no one is going to ever, ever think or believe. I'm sure I'm probably one of the only people on the planet that saw at 932 today to buy this market long. It was a great call. And I'm telling you, when I make these calls, and you can hear it in the tone of my voice when I say it, the conviction, you can hear it in my voice when I trade and make the calls in the morning or read stuff live. You can hear it. You can hear it in my voice. Uh, whether I like something or not and whether it's going to work or not about when I talk about the stock or the market itself. And honestly, uh, I'm saying it. I have 100% conviction the market's going to go to some crazy number bullishly. And people don't think that's going to happen. In fact, I'm getting so many emails now about the market doing some kind of 
crazy bearish move or to the downside or some kind of uh, correction. I'm getting so many panicky emails about it, telling people what to do to that this is the end and we're going to fall in crazy like and everything. It's not going to happen. Today again is confirmation. Confirmation. The bearish gap down today, the failure of the sell set of trigger in the daily chart, the bearish gap down today to run and trade and complete 100% retrace the bar from Monday is confirmation that the market is higher. It's going to make a new high and continue higher. And this big green megalodon day hasn't happened yet. I've been talking about it for months and still hasn't happened. And who knows? Maybe it doesn't happen until we hit over 110, 120, 125. But I know the market's going to go to some crazy number. It definitely is. And all the people that are screaming panic and creating havoc and fear in people to short this market or sell other longs are going to be sorry. Uh, read what's happening in real life time. Don't guess something's going to happen that has not happened yet. Okay. In the moment, live, live. When I see the market, if it falls off a planet, I'll see it live. That's the one benefit of being in the live trading room with me every day to hear what I say on the live day to get the trade to make money on that day, which is what you want to do as a day trade, as a day trader, is you want to make money on the day when the opportunity is there. And also, it's just, this is going to go to some crazy number. And I'm not calling the market bullish for the end, until the end of time. I'm just talking about right now here, this market's going to continue and people don't think it's going to. And it's going to continue some crazy over the next four to six months. But I will say this. I'm really good at reading shorts and longs. But I got good at reading shorts because I focused on the downward direction. So now I'm really good at reading longs too because I focus so much on the shorts that I can read both directions very easily, very well. This was an easy call for me to make today. Tough call, but easy for me to see. That's, you know, that's the result of my experience with gaps and price reading and price action. But I think one of the reasons that people just struggle with day trading is they have a hard time making a decision right in the moment. They do. They second guess themselves. They question themselves. Let's take the trade. Kill the trade. Take it this direction. Take it that direction. Get out of it here. Not hold it to the target. I know exactly what I'm looking for. I see it in real life time if it sets up if I take it. If I see it in live time not setting up, then I don't take it. And I know exactly what to look for. I know exactly what it's going to do. And I know exactly what I'm looking for. Boom. So that's the only way I think you can really make it as a day trader. And a lot of people question themselves, don't know what to look for, are unsure of themselves, and don't have confidence or conviction in what they're doing. And they don't want to train in real life time on stuff making those decisions. But it's not like, I mean, I'm seeing, I know what I want to see. And then when I see it, I do it. So if I know what I want to see and I don't get it, then I just don't do it, okay? It's as easy as that. But you do have to see it in real live time. And I think this is one of the challenges for people as day traders. You gotta, it has to be right there. And if you don't know what to look for, you don't have experience or you don't have that knowledge, that knowledge base, that knowledge, that information, the information I teach in the Golden Gap class to know the patterns, to know the ratings, to know the technical analysis points that you're looking for to see what something's supposed to do to make it work. To know that information, there's no substitute for learning and knowing that, and that's what you get. And then when you see things live, you can take the trade and see it live, and then you have the confidence in yourself and the conviction to do it. Well, I, wanna, I know what I was going to say. I'm calling the market bullish in the next four to six months. And now I continue to look and read it all along. But I'm saying the one thing I know is because I like to short and I love the downside is that sometime, 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 I don't know when. It could be five years from now. It could be eight years from now. It could be 10 years from now. I don't know. But sometime, okay, the market is going to do something bearish for real, okay, which it really hasn't done here at all for so long. But it will, and I will be in an amazing position to take advantage of that to the downside. Why? Because I'm really good at spotting true weakness and real weakness in a gap to know whether or not we'll continue in the gap or not. And I'm also very good at reading short entries to take something aggressively short to make money to the downside. And a lot of people don't know how to go short or take a correct entry short. A lot of people are doing incorrect short entries, and then they get, uh, they get off shorting. But it's just that they didn't know what the entry was. Or they try to short stuff like this market today and then they get disgusted and then they say, oh, you know, and then they don't want to do gaps, they don't want to short. This market was not a short today. This was not a bearish gap to short today. So there's nothing to do here. You just have to learn how. It's like 
It's like the difference between night or day. It's like somebody that gives you a map how to get to a location, and somebody says, here, boop, uh, I'll meet you at so-and-so. So you have one person has the address and no map. The other person has the address and a map. Who do you think is going to get there first? The person with the address and the map. Okay, there you have it. The person with the address and the map will get there first. The person that only has the address and no map and is going to a foreign location that they've never been to before um, is not going to is not going to get there before the person with the address and the map uh, and may not get there at all. Okay, this is this is the thing. So if you have a road map to get there and an address, okay, you will get there. If you have a goal and a map to get there, you'll get there. So for me, I have a certain goal and then I have a map to get there. The map to get there is my rating system. So that, and I also have my goal, okay? For people that want to trade the market, first of all, some people don't have goals, which is crazy. I mean, you have to have goals. But then some people don't even have a map to get there, okay? And the map is the, is the strategy, too. It's all part of it. The Golden Gap 26-point rating system that I train and teach is the, is the map because it's the strategy and the rating system together, which takes you to the goal, which is making money in the market. So everybody has the goal to make money or a certain amount they want. Some people say they want to make money, but they don't know how much. Well, that isn't a good enough goal. You have to know exactly how much you want to make. Here. Exactly, okay? And you have to have a road map to get there. If you don't have both, then you're not going to make it. I'm sure people got hurt today in this market. Oh, my gosh. I said in the morning after I made the call and after I said the market was long and after I saw the market doing this, I said, oh, my gosh, I don't think anyone knows here but me how tough this was to make this call to see that this would do this. This was this is 100% the stock swoosh LLC. This is 100% me, Melissa. This is 100% me to make a call like that today at 932 to see if market would do that. All me to make this call here. And I really hope that people held this to the target today. You got you to gotta see it. You got to hold some of these trades to targets. Now is the time. It's fall. It's earnings season. It's the time to make the money, people. Now is it. Okay. What a nice call by the Stock Swish LLC, which is me in the QQQs long today. Beautiful, beautiful move in the market. Look for the market higher the rest of the week until otherwise noted. Unless I get up tomorrow and see a gap where I have a different read, but don't see that tonight. Have a great night, everyone. If you're interested in the next. Uh, gap class. It is September 27th and 28th. Feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and have a wonderful evening.